What's good, YouTube? I'm back again with another video. I appreciate the love and the subscribers, man. I mean, it uh, means a lot to me. To the new viewers that's coming on to my page, don't forget to hit that subscribe and that like button. Like I said, I'm out here just being my genuine self, bro. I ain't got shit to have, like I always say in my videos. But yeah, man, from the title of the video, uh, if you can't control the situation, don't try to fix it. And what I mean is, we stress as men sometimes, and this can go for women too, we stress about shit we can't fix. If it's out of your control, why stress about it? Only care about the things that you have control over, which is your life and who you choose to be with, your money, and your situation. And a lot of people don't understand that because, you know, some people ain't taught or got it the right way, especially when it comes to a relationship. Same way if you're in a relationship with a woman or a man, you cannot make them stay. That's out of your control. You can talk to them, you can conversate with them, but you cannot make nobody love you or respect you. You could get, you could gain your respect, but at the same time, you can't make nobody do anything that they don't want to do. And that's where stress come, comes into play and stress kills and age you, and it, it can, uh, you know, cause heart health problems, all types of shit. I know y'all see motherfuckers in their 20s looking like they 40 some years old or in their 30s. It's because they stressing the fuck out, worried. And let me tell you something, especially as when you're young, the only thing you could do is bust your ass, stack your money, and uh, try to grow your, your mental and your soul. Because at the end of the day, like I said, some shit is just out of your control. You can't make a motherfucker stay with you. You can't make a motherfucker love you. You can't make a motherfucker treat you right. It's just part of life. And the, the, the biggest thing you do have a control over is to walk away out of that relationship. Or, you know, if you get fired from another job, you go get you a new one. Don't try to return back to the job. You know, they fired you for a reason or whatever. Whether it was over some lame shit, you just got to let that shit go. You know, and uh, people, people, you, you can't help everybody. Everybody, I just said that in my videos. You can't help everybody. Everybody ain't meant to be helped. You can't save everybody. You can't you can't be Captain save a hoe. Er, everybody ain't meant to be uh, saved. And that's what I mean, that that's out of your control. You can't stop a hoe from being a hoe. Can't turn a housewife. You can't turn a hoe into a housewife. Like, y'all just got to, you know, get out of that state of mind and you know like i said stress kills and at the end of the day you have control over that i don't stress about every fucking thing in my life i can't i can't i don't stress over a woman you know i don't stress over things that i can't control where is that where where is that gonna get you it's not gonna get you nowhere but stress the fuck out worry it's okay to worry a little bit and it's okay to uh you know think about it or whatever but Trying to control some shit that's out of your control is crazy, you know. Like 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 our own saying from a, from a mechanic: uh, if it don't need to be fixed, don't fix it, leave it alone. But some people don't get that. Some people think that they could fix people or fix their situation by, you know, trying to put their energy into somebody. And all sometimes some people it would just drain the shit out of you. I know y'all done talk to people and try to guide them, and they continuously make the same mistakes over and over. Or the same dude that go back to jail continuously over and over and doing the same thing. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, you have control over your mind, your body, and your soul. And like I said, some things are just not worth fixing. Some things you can walk away from. And I know some things is hard, but... <laughs> Excuse the language. Excuse me. Like I said, I be at work and shit in my truck. But yeah, man, uh, like a toxic relationship. You know, some people be afraid to walk away from that because they feel like they ain't going to find nobody. Or, you know, somebody they going to, you know, have somebody to be with every day and don't want to be lonely. But sometimes a motherfucking peace of mind and... You know, having freedom over your motherfucking health is way more important. And I don't learn that because I done been in long relationships. Uh, I done been with women, all that shit. 
And sometimes, like I said, some women would try to manipulate their men and make them seem like they're the bad person, especially if you done did everything you could do, you know. Sometimes you got to just walk away, even if it hurts. You know, pain, no pain, uh, no, no gain, no pain, or no pain, no gain, or whatever. Sometimes you just got to walk away from that shit. So you can't, like I said, you can't fix everybody. Same with a woman. Uh, if a woman is in a relationship with a man that continuously, you know, get cheated on and uh, he ain't doing his part or we're helping her with the bills and, you know, always on some other shit, you don't got to stay with that man. You choose to stay with him because you don't want to be lonely or you don't want to be by yourself. And another thing I realized, too, is a lot of people stay with the, you know, with the partner or their significant other who they have kids with and think that they have to stay together because they got kids. Let me tell you something, man. If my baby mama was, you know, or whatever, cheated on me or was mistreating me, even if we got a kid together, I'm fucking out of there. Because at the end of the day, how the fuck am I going to be mentally sane for my child if my child is around toxic shit all day? It's going to rub off on the child. So at the end of the day, you got to remove yourself from situations so you could better yourself. And people, you know, after, you know, breaking up from a relationship and giving it, giving it your all, it, sometimes it take a toll on you. But that don't mean your life in there. Sometimes you got to take it. Sometimes you got to take it. Uh, sometimes you got to take it day by day and, you know, give pace yourself. Pray to God, like I've always said in my videos and uh, move on, man. Because, you know, when I went through my shit, I thought the world was going to come to an end. And I couldn't control her staying with me or I can't control how it ended. One thing I could control was my mind and my heart and where I was trying to get to. So once I grabbed that, none couldn't stop me from getting where I wanted to go or what I wanted to get. And that's my whole point of this video. Some things is out of your control. You cannot fix it. You can't stress over it. Sometimes we overthink and we worry. But like I said, sometimes you got to let that shit go. Some things is meant to be let go. And ask yourself this. You're sitting there angry, mad, you're crying, all emotional. Let me ask you something. Did that solve anything? There's nothing wrong with grieving or getting your emotions out. But you got to ask yourself, like, what is that doing for me? It ain't doing shit for you. So the best thing you could possibly do is leave it alone and let it go. That's the power we have over a woman as a man anyway. You just walk away. I don't give a fuck what y'all built, what y'all have. Sometimes you just got to walk away. And like I said, your peace of mind and your mental state is way more fucking important than all that material shit. You got to walk away from some shit. And then same if, same if you done gave a motherfucker some money and they didn't pay it back, that's out of your control. Because you can't force them to pay it back. You just got to learn how to move different. Like, okay, you can't get shit out of me. And since you want to be like that, I'm cutting your ass off. Or that motherfucker that that uh, was cool with you, but ain't cool with you out of nowhere for whatever fucking reason. Or that girl that don't want to talk to you because of you low at the moment. But my point is, that's out of your control. So what do you do? Let it be and keep moving. Uh, keep moving on. That's all we could do as human beings is move on. You know, some people go on a killing spree and shit and, you know, on some motherfucking Michael Myers shit because they, you know, they can't control their emotions. But it's part of life and let it build you, like I've always said. Uh, like I said, uh, stressing over shit, it's okay to worry because we're human. But to be stressing yourself out, that's not like that over another person or, or people talking and spreading rumors or lies. That's out of your motherfucking control, man. You got to let them motherfuckers talk until their jaw fall off. Uh, if they don't put their hands on you, let them run their mouth. You got to ask yourself, is any of these things true? Or is it true to them? 
That's why I be trying to teach y'all. Y'all gotta build this shit because I ain't gonna necessarily teach, say teach y'all, but try to you know explain it like your mind is the most powerful thing you have on your body. Without the mind, you bring the you basically a zombie. I don't let everything get to me. I don't let shit bother me. I'm not saying I'm a perfect human being, but I'm saying that I don't let everything get me out of character and I don't let everything uh, throw me off where I'm trying to get to because that's what people want anyway. People want you to stop doing what you're doing or stressing the fuck out or end up in the hospital or your motherfucking eye twitching because this motherfucker done said some off the wall shit. Like I said, we can't control what comes out of people's mouth. Same way I can't control uh, when negative people come into my comments and speak what they want. Do I let it affect me? No. I might talk my little shit. I might loosen up a little bit. But at the end of the day, I don't let that shit stop me from making my videos or doing anything in my life. Because at the end of the day, people going to move how they want. And that's what I mean. If it's out of your control, you got to learn how to teach yourself to say, fuck it. I done said fuck it to a lot of things. If that job ain't work out for me at that moment, I'm going to move on to the next. If I couldn't get that car today, I'm going to get it uh, six months later. Or if I can't get what I want right now, I'm going to end up getting it later. That's how you got to think. Because guess what? We in the, the economy is fucked up right now. You got you to gotta think. You out spending money, and you could be putting that money up. You got to ask yourself. When you when you fucked up out here, who going who gonna help you? You think people care? That's out of other people control. They ain't about to give a fuck why you fucked up, stressed the fuck out, lonely, depressed, sad. That's why I be trying to uh, make some of these videos, man. The world is cold out here, and everybody don't care for uh, care for another uh, another one, and one or another or whatever. But uh, yeah, man, you you gotta some shit you just can't fix, man. Some shit you cannot fix. I, I had learned that. The, another thing I done learned the hard way. <laughs> Trying to fix some shit and it ended up with some crazy shit. It could be a toxic relationship. Uh, like I said, you cannot make a motherfucker love you. That could come from family, cousins, mother, daddy, uh, uncle, well, friends, acquaintances, whatever. You can't not make a motherfucker love you, respect you, and be there for you. It's just about what you need to do for yourself. You got to trust into God that he's going to get you where you need to go. Because I believe God takes his strongest word, warriors through the, through the things that most people can't handle. And once you get out of that, you become a new person like a butterfly getting out of a cocoon. They spread their wings and fry. And at the end of the day, when a door closes, a new one opens. And like I said, you got to ask yourself, especially as a man and a young man, is it worth stressing over that girl? Is it worth stressing over somebody that don't give two fucks about you? Ask yourself that. And then when you wake up the next day, you're going to feel a lot better. Because guess what? Nobody don't owe you shit but God. You got no, I, I take that back. Only person you owe is God. You don't owe nobody else shit. If you walk around with that motherfucking mindset, I'm telling you, you will feel undefeated, unstoppable, confident in every way. Because that's how I walk around every day. Everybody is flawless creatures. Sensual and don't like to forgive. Jesus got his ass whooped for us. Took beatings and all this shit. And still forgave. So you got to ask yourself. I'm going to forgive and move the fuck on. And necessarily. Not even necessarily. You got to go tell the person I'm sorry. Tell God that you apologize. Tell yourself that you were sorry. And move the fuck on. Because at the end of the day. Some shit is not meant to be fixed. Some shit is out of your control. And at the end of the day. It's stress kills. And for your mental health. Especially as a man. Because men go through mental health issues and sometimes we can't open up about the shit but we got to be silent so i'm saying it like this man you ain't got nobody else to talk to talk to god and if you cannot fix it let the shit go it is not worth for walking around with a fucking looking like salt and pepper because 
you trying to fix some shit that's out of your control. It, bro, it is definitely not worth it. People are going to do what they want at the end of the day. People are going to say what they want. People are going to think what they want. People are entitled to their opinion. And it's uh, it's called, uh, it's a free country out here, bro. So, got to protect yourself, man. Your mind and your heart and your soul. I always say that. I'm telling you, you'll feel a lot different. A lot of shit wouldn't bother you. I don't let shit bother me. Like I said, I'm not a human. I'm not a perfect human. But I'm telling you, the littlest things, people let the dumbest shit crash them out or have them in jail or lose everything by responding to some shit out of emotion or putting your emotion into it. As a man, you got to think logical. You got to think straight. You can't be out here thinking all fucked up because ain't nobody going to come save you except the motherfuckers you love. And sometimes they can't even help you. But, yeah, man, that's my message for this uh, video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe, like button. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. I'm out. Peace.